Hi everyone and welcome back to the channel. In this video, I'm gonna go over everything that I bought at the Hawaii 2024 Pokemon World Championships. I'm still here right now in the hotel room. So apologies if this setup is a little bit homemade. But let's get into the video. So today this video is gonna be formed of three different categories. I'm first gonna explain what my goal was being here at this trip. Then I'm gonna show you everything that I bought or traded for. And then at the end, I'm gonna show you my favorite or my best pickups of the trip. So the first section of this video is why did I come to Hawaii for the 2024 Pokemon World Championships? Well, there's a few different answers to that question. Number one, I had FOMO, fear of missing out. I was getting very jealous and I didn't wanna miss out to put it bluntly. I went to the London world because that's where I live. I went to the Japan world championships all the way in well japan in 2023 and the whole year i was kind of thinking oh man i'm not really fancying going to hawaii it's expensive it's really far away i've got other commitments on youtube and stuff or my work but then i started getting back into pokemon more I started to enjoy things more and i was like no i don't want to miss this opportunity i do not want to miss it so all in all i came here i love the pokemon community as you guys know i absolutely love the the franchise i love everything from the game i don't watch the anime as much as i would like to but i, I just love all things pokemon you know from being five six years old collecting the cards to all the way here now where I've got multiple businesses in Pokemon and also YouTube channel and, and just friends, yada, yada, yada. I wanted to be here. Fun fact, I actually tried to compete or wanted to try and compete for the World Championships back in, I'm not sure what year it was, but I went to Sweden, Malmo to compete there. I was just short on getting uh, placed high enough to get any championship points for the World Championships. I was like one slot away. But then literally a day or two later, COVID hit and everything got canceled and I kind of lost my... Not my desire, but lost the motivation, you know. I also want to point out, before we go any further, that I am a collector of Pokemon. I like to collect cards, I like to buy cards, and I like to sell and trade cards as well. It doesn't mean I don't love the franchise, it just means that I'm not good enough to play the games and do well, um, and I just enjoy the cards, the TCG the most, and I enjoy to collect. That's not a bad thing. I think collectors have got uh, sometimes a bad rap because of bad guys, bad people, but uh, I just wanna make it clear that I do like collecting, I do like buying, selling, trading cards, but I promise you, uh, I'm, I'm a good guy. You can make that mind up on that, but you know, I, I, I do this with a lot of passion. But anyway, another reason I came to Worlds is because as I've mentioned in every single video, I have, in the last few years, started a grading company. This is what it looks like, you got the grade up here, clear slabs, labels that match the card, uh, and we've built something that I'm really, really proud of, and I think is a, a game changer in the grading space, and therefore, Two things. Number one, I want to showcase it to people over in Worlds, meet new people from different countries, network, build relationships. But I also still have left over a bunch of PSA slabs from when I used to grade with PSA before A's even existed. And I've still got quite a few of those. So what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to trade those away for new cards, you know? So I came over here to America and I brought maybe a, a I can't show you the case because it's, it's like what the cards are leaning on. But I brought them to trade into singles that I can then, you know, use for my streams on whatnot, or I can list on Pokerend, or I can then kind of like trade for new cards that I can then go and grade with Ace Graden. You know, stuff like this, in my opinion, I really believe in Ace. I think it's a game changer and I want all my cards to be in Ace. You know, I back Ace. I want to put my money where my mouth is, if you will, and I want to showcase my cards uh, with, with the Ace Graden slabs. So that was the intention on coming to Worlds. Section number two. The second part of this video is I'm going to show you everything that I picked up at Worlds. Now a lot of things I did buy and plenty more things I traded for and I actually enjoy trading because it takes me back to the, the playground you know. Um, so yeah without any further ado I'm going to show you what I picked up. First things first you can see a bunch of different plushies. You've got the Squirtle, Charmander and Bulbasaur over there. You've got Eevee, Raichu and Togepi over there. And of course you've got the, the figure, Worlds exclusive merch, such as these sleeves, such as the playmat you can see right there. And also, I also picked up a bunch of Worlds exclusive merch. Everything in here is Worlds exclusive and we gave it all away to you guys on Whatnot. Around 30 items in here. So make sure you do check my link in the description, you get £10 off your first purchase with Whatnot. And I'm also going to be auctioning a lot of the cards that I picked up here at Worlds on Whatnot. So make sure you check the link in the description and uh, yeah, give me a follow and get £10 free. I think it's like £10 or $15 depending on where you're from. Alright, so let's get into what I picked up. First First things first, I picked up a bunch of these Pichu promo cards, Black Star promo. I love these cards. Um, definitely a staple of my childhood and my early days in collecting. I traded a PSA 9 Shadowless Blastoise for that entire pile. For me, it's just something that I think it will do better. And so over time, they'll be on whatnot, they'll be on Pokerand, and uh, maybe a few will, will get graded as well. Moving on, I traded a quite large amount uh, of, of PSA slabs for a bunch of singles. I think it was around six or seven slabs plus cash. And it's just a bunch of Watsy Hollows, as you can see right here. Now these aren't all in really nice condition. We've got a Dark Blastoise non hollow there, some more non hollow As you can see, it's Vaporeon. We've got a few of those. You can, well, you can see this one here has got a crease down it right there on the front of the card. And on the back as well, you can see uh, it's quite well, it's heavily played. There's a crease there. Well, this, is, this, is, this is very played, but we got a load of them, as you can see. We've got loads of these, you know. And also an entire binder, which I'll show you. My laptop's currently resting on the binder, so I'm going to show you the binder at the end of the video. So make sure you keep watching to see that. But as you can see, just a bunch of Watsy Hollows, so many. I mean, look, I mean, look at that. It's like, what, like six, seven Lapras? Muck, 
you know. Um, so in my opinion, like, I think singles is just better for me right now. Uh, I prefer picking up singles than, for example, oh, I, I actually packed this. I'm not sure why it's in there. Interesting. But yeah, I packed this. You guys saw it. A lot of this stuff you might have seen if you've been watching my videos across uh, the space of worlds. This is from a different pile. Uh, obviously, I didn't pay necessarily the sticker price on all of these. Some were more, some might have been a little bit less, but just in general, I'm just showing you what I picked up, the kind of things I'm, I'm looking for at the minute. I will grade a lot of the stuff that I've traded for and picked up here at Worlds. For example, this Gengar EX, I picked this up and I thought it's really clean. The center on the back is not perfect, but it might be within the criteria, so we'll send that and see what we can do. And again, the grading returns will be on this channel, so if you want to subscribe, feel free. Oh, this next pile is something that I was really happy to pick up and really excited to pick up. I, I think this era of Pokemon is uh, really underrated. And as you saw in my Worlds vlog, or maybe my, my world's vlog's coming up. I've got a newfound love for Absol. Um, so this Absol EX, just, I just loved it, you know? And this entire era in this pile right here, as you can see, is just an, an era that I think is super underrated and I love the cards from this era. I mean, look at that Ninetales. That's so stunning, man. Deoxys Reverse. Tag Team, I'm really quite bullish on Tag Team right now, so I think it's a great pickup. As you can see, we've got a bunch there. Mega Pokemon as well. I think these are also really underrated and also at, at a good price point as well. So trading slabs for these is just a no-brainer in my opinion. And um, a lot of these looking great as well. Entei, Cosmic Eclipse. Like, I love stamped cards, as you might have realized. I love stamp cards and this Entei right here. I think this is worth like $4 or something. And uh, look at the holofoil on that. And if you look at the back, it's just super duper clean. It may be a little nick in the corner. So like, if that gets like a nine or even dare I say a 10, then it's just a great pickup, you know? Although hmm, I can see a dent or so I can see something. Is that just a mark? It might just be a little bit of dirt that can be wiped off. But yeah, I just uh, thought these were great pickups, you know? Uh, and shout out to uh, the trade area as well. Shout out to Pokemon for putting on the trade area. I got to sit there, nicely air conditioned, wasn't too busy, and make some trades, make some deals with people. And that's what Pokemon is all about. Uh, I really like the sanctioned trade area this year at Worlds. Last year, it was kind of like just a, a bit of mayhem and an unofficial one outside. And they didn't really want people like trading cash and stuff. But whereas in this one, you can actually trade items for more items. So I enjoyed that. Um, I got some of these XY promos. I think they're beautiful. I got the whole set. I thought these would look great in A stables. Whether they get high grades or not, it doesn't really matter. We've got Zapdos, Articuno. And I mean, the, the market price on Articuno is like, like $15 something. And in this condition, I just think like, I mean, look at that. That's, that's, that's like, conditions are always weird in the community. Like uh, you've, got, you've got mint and near mint. I mean, remember, mint can be a nine. If so. something gets a nine, it's still mint. If something gets a 10, it's obviously gem mint. But people use near mint a lot, which is like seven. A near mint card is a seven. This card right here, like honestly, probably would get an eight. You know, you've got a bit of a mark there on the edge. You've got quite a heavy uh, bit of corner damage there. So it wouldn't get a 10. It could get, it could scrape a nine and therefore it would be mint. Um, and if not, it's near mint to mint, you know? So <laughs> yeah. Near Mint is still a 7, you know, so a lot of these cards are Near Mint and uh, I try and pre-grade to try and get a 10, um, but if it gets a 9, then you're still happy. It's probably roughly about raw price, maybe a little bit uh, more if you get a 9, so it's worth the, the, the kind of like, not, not, not the gamble, but it's worth the opportunity to get that 10. Shining Mew, Shining Lugia, how well, I mean, look at this, Dragonite, and these are just great cards, man. So I, I, I couldn't refuse uh, these and I had to pick them up. So as you can see, we've got a bunch of stuff here. The red and blue is really clean as well. Uh, I'll be sending that off to Ace as well. These gold uh, EXs are so beautiful. The person had more, but uh, I, didn't, I wasn't really too keen on the condition of those ones and they are quite pricey, so I, I kind of avoided that. This Mewtwo and Mew is really clean. We've got Crobat AX, Latios Delta Species, Ninetales, another one of those. So yeah, I was super like excited to pick all these up. And uh, as you can see, we just got absolute bangers. The last part of this video is going to be my best pickups. Uh, and these cards right here, while they aren't going to be in that section, they very well could be because the condition of them could take them into the best pickup or my favorite pickups. If this Kyogre right here would get a 10 in an ace table, then it could be my favorite pickup, you know, or one of them. But I've got a binder that I'm going to show you at the end of the video, uh, which has got some really cool cards in that I was really excited to pick up. So that, that's, that's going to take the spot for the, the best pickup or my, or my favorite pickup, but I'm just showing you all these as well uh, as we kind of go through this video. So one of the best things about Worlds is that you find people from all different areas of the world. That's why it's called the World Championship, you know? And uh, I actually met some people from Slovakia and they sold me uh, this really cool Umbreon promo. It's a sealed promo and I, and I bought quite a few for exposure. As you can see, we've got a few of these Obsidian Flames Umbreon. Uh, they're, like, they're like reverse foils and they've got an Obsidian Flame stamp. And obviously Umbreon, and one of the fan favorites of the entire franchise. I love the artwork as well. Mm. And I think it's a really nice card. It's a common or uncommon in, I can't remember, oh, Obsidian Flames, obviously. Uh, and I was like, yeah, this is an underrated card, underrated stamp. I got it for a good price, but bulk. So I was like, yeah, let's, let's get some of these. So these will be on Whatnot in the upcoming weeks and months. And also they'll be on Pokeran as well. So if you want to pick up any of those guys, feel free. 
Same sort of pickup here, but a different day. Uh, same kind of cars, just a different era. These are more the diamond and pearl, black and white era of cars. But again, just super stunning. And I, I think these are so undervalued, man. I, I couldn't believe the price. I was looking at the price of a lot of these, uh, market price. And I was like, I was like even if these don't sell or whatever, I, I, I would love to have them in my collection, you know, in, in a binder somewhere. I will say that when you're looking at cards at trade halls and at conventions, it's so hard to see the condition. Like this card right here, like I, have a, I have a light here look. So I bring this light with me when I look at cards and when I film videos. Videos. And under the light, you can just see so many scratches on the cards that you wouldn't see without it. Um, and on, on first glance, this card's like near min, and then you start seeing the scratches, and it kind of takes it down to you know light play, which is. Uh, and, and I probably price this TCG flare at near min, but it's, it's no problem. That kind of thing happens when you buy a lot of bulk cards, you know, or, or you do a big trade. I mean, I'm seeing a lot more scratches on these hollow foils or these reverse foils than I thought were there. But again, it's no issue. It's very common with this era, and I'm still really thankful and grateful to be able to pick up these up. You just don't see these that often. You don't see these around Blastoise, Articuno, so. So yeah, really happy with this. Uh, there's plenty more as well. I know this video is called Everything That I Picked Up, but we'd be here all day if I showed you everything. Again, if you want to see more of this, make sure you check out the Whatnot or Poker Rand as well. Right, moving on. Um, again, this is the same lot that I traded the uh, slabs for that I mentioned earlier on in the video. Um, more stamps, EX Deoxys here. These are in top level. It's kind of hard for me to show you these because the way my camera is, but yeah, uh, a bunch of stamps, as you can see. And I think a lot of these are already clean. These ones aren't right there, but some of them are clean. I still need to go through them all. I was going to make this video first, me going through everything, but I wouldn't have time to, it'd be a long video. And uh, obviously I'm still here in Hawaii. Oh, cool, I've just found something. Okay, I'll show you what I found in a minute. But yeah, I'm still in Hawaii and I obviously need to check out and, and leave at some point. Um, so yeah, a bunch of stamps and more vintage and stuff. So yeah, a, a decent pickup. Um, and again, I'm, I'm getting rid of my, I wanna get rid of my stabs. I don't wanna own any PSA stabs. I think I'm saying by February 2025, I'll have no more PSA stabs in my collection, ownership, inventory at all. Um, Hopefully sooner, maybe sooner. One thing I also picked up are these staff cards right here. And I know a lot of people sort of get a little bit uptight about these staff cards, but you have to remember, like the staff get given these and the staff come from like Brazil. This is, I bought some from Brazil. Uh, they come from all the different places around the world. And this is like a way that they can pay for their trip, you know? So they, they come to the worlds, they get given these, and then they uh, they can sell them to fund their travel or, or, or you know, pay for their, their, their time, you know? And uh, it's quite smart on Pokemon's behalf as well, because Pokemon can print cards that are worth something, so they can give them to the staff for free and the staff can sell them on. And uh, yeah, uh, I, I pick them up for my collection or I'll put them on Pokerand or whatnot as well. And um, it's, just a, it's just a circle of life. I do love these cards. I will keep them. I, I also uh, traded a few Japanese, or not Japanese, but the Japan 2023 staff promos. I wish I kept one. I think I have one somewhere. I think I have one somewhere, but I uh, traded those as well to a good friend of mine. Um, Shout out to him. I think you saw all of these in, in the card shop video. If you haven't seen that, go and check it out. I'll leave like a, a link in the description or you can find it. Infernic is a card that I've been picking up a lot, actually, because this has got a stunning ace label. And for $13 near mint, um, obviously it's a modern card. Centrin's not great. I actually didn't see at the time, or maybe I did. But yeah, uh, it's worth a shot because the ace level just looks so stunning. These, these illustration rays, in my opinion, are underrated. The Groudon is doing really well right now, the Tyranitar, then you've got the Houndoom, uh, the Infernape, Horsey is a really strong one, Cresselia is a really strong one. We've seen the new Latios, uh, Keys as well, or Leaked. We've seen the Latias as well, uh, SAR. And uh, yeah, then a bunch more stuff from the shop uh, that you already have seen. And again, like these are cards that were in that other uh, big pickup I got, but priced cheaper, so we take those. All right, oh, this was funny. This is from the card show. These are all pickups from the card show next. And uh, as you can see, this one's called Grade Me, which I thought was really cool. <laughs> um, so d don't tempt me. If you put a sticker on your card saying Grade Me, I'll buy it and I'll go and grade them. Oh. But this is a clean card in my opinion. We've got Blastoise near Mint, Kyogre near Mint, Light Play. Charizard is a bit of a risky purchase. I think a lot of people from the UK wouldn't buy this because it is not as expensive in the UK as it is in the US. But I like it, I thought it was pretty good condition. I think it's probably, if I had to guess right now, even though it looks clean. Actually, this looks really clean. This this, this, this is one of the cards where obviously I'm, I'm not a grader. I, I I would put it in the eight, nine, 10 category. I have to really get it out and com completely give it a look. Obviously the surface is where so many people forget to look. And when you're at a card show, there's no way you can see surface. Um, let's have a quick look. On first glance, the surface looks okay, like the actual surface of the card. What I'm seeing is, on the edge at the top, this is a promo, right? It's a Black Star promo. On the edge of promos, if you look here and here on the cards, like like right there and right there, you'll always see a bit of like a few marks because the way these cards used to be put into the promo, like plastic tins and, and, and premium collections and stuff, used to be like two claws, like grab the card at the top and the bottom. Um, 
So again, if you see that right there, I, I'm not sure how much this affects the grade. It will affect it somewhat. But that's why I'm saying this card could go in the uh, the eight, nine, or 10 category. I mean, you can see a bit of corner damage, but the actual back is really clear on this card. Hence why I picked it up. But ultimately, again, this is where like grading, uh, again, I've, even though I uh, own part of and founded a grading company, I don't think every card should be graded. Um, but this is a card where I feel like it's worth the shot. Um, but even if it doesn't hit the grade you want, it's still something that you can keep in your collection. This will look great with an A stable, uh, or you can sell it on and then fund something else. You know, so it's not a bad pickup at all. And for those who don't know what an A stable is, an A stable is the premium option at Ace Grading. It's where you have the the kind of continuation or the art label on your card. It's Ace Grading, uh, so we just call it the Ace label. Again, Ace is available internationally, so if you want to submit your cards, feel free. You can use code Randy for five percent off. I'll leave a link in the description. But yeah, it's uh, actually really accessible to grade your cards from overseas now, which is which is great. Uh, a few more cards that I picked up from the card show. But I think it's time to get to the final stage of the video today, guys, and show you my favorite and my best pickups. This big binder right here, this is part of the uh, the vintage, you know all these like top loader cards I showed you? Uh, it's part of that, so I traded like a bunch of slabs for this, but as you can see, it's all top loaders and it's all cards from that same era. It might work better if I show you like this real quick. There's the view from my hotel room, by the way. Shout out. But yeah, here we go. I'll try and keep it steady, but as you can see, it's just a load of different more, different more? A load more stamp promos. Uh, stamp, stamp reverse hollows from uh, all the older sets. But also we have some really cool EXs right here as well. So I'm gonna take these out and show you, but I just wanted to kind of give you a glimpse of what this binder is. It's just full of stuff. For example, Swamper EX. Now these also range from different conditions. As you can see, this is like probably light played. A lot of these EXs are light played, but that's the kind of, that's the reality of this, you know? We've got the Charmander Secret Rare from Fire Red Leaf Green. We've got a bunch more Fire Red Leaf Green hollows as well. I actually had a bunch of PSA 10s of these, which I subsequently sold recently as well actually to fund this trip to Worlds. So again, as you can see, I'm trying to I'm trying to get rid of my uh, a, lot, a lot of my PSA slabs now that I've got Ace and um, they've been lying around. And also I wanna, I wanna kind of find the best way to do that, you know? So rather than just selling them, I wanna sell them and then put it to good use for the business, you know? And, and that's, what, that's what I'm doing now, buying more stock to then grade, to then keep, or to then showcase, or to then feature in videos, or to then do on whatnot. So that's what I'm kind of working on right now. And again, even though I am a collector of Pokemon cards, I am also, oh, I also run a business in Pokemon. In fact, multiple, you know, so I also have to, uh, I have to think of that as well. Reverse foil stamped Latias. This is real clean, actually. Uh, obviously, you do have the kind of line down it, which is always like a, a conversation in Pokemon, whether that should be something that is penalized because it does come on a lot of these uh, reverse holo uh, era cards. But as we go through this, you just see, one thing I really love at the minute is the Arita reverses, and I really want to try and kind of build a collection of the reverses. So Mawile right there. Mawile, also one of my favorite Pokemon. Mega Mawile, I love that. I always tried to make it work in VGC. Actually, it was pretty good with Intimidate. It was pretty damn good. Uh, we have some more EXs here. We've got a Groudon EX. And again, if you guys know, my, one of my first goals on this channel was to build a whole graded EX collection. I, I didn't get it done, but um, maybe I'll do it with Ace now as well. We've got some level Xs here as well. So we've got Infernape and some more. And again, I can't show you everything right here because I don't have the setup for it. Some great cards in here. Some really cool cards. And then I'm gonna end the video by showing you my absolute favorite cards of the whole lot because you guys know uh, I have a few favorite Pokemon of mine. Unfortunately, the Lugia isn't in this binder, but what is in this binder is Espeon EX. Love to see that. As you can see, the condition is not the best. You got some nicks in the corner up there and the edges, sorry, the edges. Then Celebi with a really nice swirl there as well. Look, swirl right there and Celebi EX. No Lugia, we did have Umbreon, which is a really cool Pokemon. Again, I think Umbreon will be up there in my top five. But mm. It's up there. I mean, I like Espeon more, but I also understand the love for Umbreon. And uh, it's that game, man. You know the, uh, what was it called? Pokemon Colosseum. I love that game. I love that game. So Umbreon right here, actually pretty decent Nick. I think, uh, yeah, not too bad, not too bad. We've got a couple of Mute EX in here as well. Blaziken EX, ho EX. Why is Lugia not here, man? Also, I saw this on the Meganium. Look at this, guy. This is really cool. I've never seen this before. Look at this Meganium reverse, but look at the hollow foil, the reverse foil. It's got Pokeballs in it. So if you get it from the right angle, you'll see there, like some holographic Pokeball, like 3D ones in the background of that card. That's really cool, really unique. I've never seen that before. Um, and a pretty clean card as well, if I do say so myself. So yeah, a lot of opportunity to grade cards in here. And again, if they don't hit tens, it's not a problem. Some eights and nines will still do well on. So um, the yeah. hardest thing about running a business that you're so passionate about is that when you do hit a card that you want in a grade, like, yeah, sure, it can stay as stock or inventory and you can price it high to not sell it, but also, you know, you just want to keep it, you know, as yours. But yeah, really cool. That's a clean card. I might send that one off. Really nice. But yeah, there we go, guys. And, uh, and again, um, shout out to the person that I traded this with. I'm going to see them many more times in the future. Trade some more things. And again, it's all about 
giving people value that they want and then kind of getting something that you want, you know? So I, I offered to take this entire binder. I offered a, a bit of a discount because I'll take it all in one go. And then I offered him some slabs that are more liquid for him or some that he wants to keep, some low pop stuff that he wants in his collection. And he was really excited. Uh, and a shout out to him, a great guy. And uh, really excited to do more business with him. I'll be at CollectorCon as well in the future. Oh, look at this, man. Special honorable mention. This Legend Maker Reverse Hollow Gengar. So there we go, guys. There we have it. That was my binder, my favorite pickup of the whole trip. If you want to see more of that binder, I might do a live stream here on YouTube where I go through all the cards individually, check the conditions out and stuff. So again, make sure you subscribe to that. But yeah, that was my world 2024. Obviously, you saw everything else I got up to. The whole world's vlog is on its way. Uh, all the content that I filmed as well. Uh, so it wasn't just me picking up cards. That's not the only reason I'm here. But yeah, I thought I'd bring you this and showcase it to you. Um, thanks for watching, guys. Links in the description as always, and I'll see you on the next one. And most importantly, Pokerand, Randolph Pokemon, we are back, baby. Let's go. See you soon, guys.